this box here and we're just gonna go ahead and do we're gonna do what we've got to do uh, tips for this fusion uh, these are tips for any fusion they're not exclusive to this nasty frag of fusion but this thing is just it's becoming evident how hard this is going to be I'm going for it um, and if you have made it through all the pinch points so far you know the mo most of the, the tournaments are about the same they're not that bad you got to get through them I do feel bad for anybody stuck in bronze arena because they pretty much have been given zero pathway uh, it's unfortunate that they fixed the arena right before some kind of frag fusion event but for the people who are going for this a uh, couple tips on some of the some of the pinch points uh, right now we're trying really hard to get this uh, training done uh, we're gonna have to do this again don't don't forget we're gonna have to go through this again and so all that food that we had saved up man I mean I have been burning my energy I still have a ways to go one way to get these uh, a quick thousand points if you have any brews which I've, I've already used mine take a take some four stars out of your bags some dupes just throw six brews on each one of the matching color and it'll put them straight to level 25 it's so many points you can do it so fast if you have brews I've already used mine up so I'm using 12-3 to run some random four stars a few times just to get quick level points but I'm, I'm also still making food three stars into four four into five um, don't forget we have to do this again and, and when we do this again you'll also have to fuse up you'll have to level and rank up all of these epics if we actually get them to level 550 and ascend them so you're gonna need 16 there's four epics they're gonna need four four stars each you're gonna need 16 four stars ready to go pretty quickly when that comes so on the second champion training of uh, tournament or whatever it is make sure that as you're making food you're saving some of those four stars if you want to have an easy time putting these guys actually together it's gonna to be tough uh, one of the problems with champion training the reason I'm going over it more than anything you can't do this while you're at work you can't just auto click on this you can set up your 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 uh, macro to run so many times so you're not wasting energy but you can't run it all day you kind of that polarium is demanding your time and you shall give it right <laughs> you've got to sit in front of this pc or your phone and you've got to grind uh and, and you know if you work if you have a family if you've got a life it's hard to do it's hard to do so i'm like i'm auto running like 10 at a time and coming in and out is a nightmare but uh we still have a couple days just you gotta stick with it but don't forget you also have to hit like the ice going tournament you gotta hit that it starts in the morning you, can, you need to hit those things as quickly as possible so nothing goes wrong as soon as you hit your target get right back to making food that, at least that's my plan uh, but you know just taking a bunch of random dupes out of your bags and real quick leveling them halfway up before the efficiency kind of wears off it gets tough to max them out that's a quick way to earn a bunch of points so I'm fixing to just make a mess out of all my heroes I, I hate that I'm a completionist but I'm just gonna make a big mess and get a bunch of half level heroes uh, dungeon diver event is going to come pretty easily while you're making this food so if you're if you're actually pushing the training event you're not gonna have to worry about that dungeon diver um, we got an artifact enhancement you know hopefully I still got enough jewelry to sell because yeah it looks like I've, I've got plenty doing this training is gonna make you a lot of silver that should be a pretty easy one uh, shards shards all I can tell you is I hope I hope that you're grinding clan boss almost every shard I get comes from clan boss of course you get some from doom tower um, random random dungeons will drop uh, ancient shards every now and then but those sacred shards are worth 500 a piece that's why every month there's typically some kind of fusion or fragment event hopefully we never have another frag of fusion but yeah hopefully it's the first and last right but those are worth 500 a piece on the uh, the summoning rush you don't get you don't get points for the type of heroes you pull <clears throat> you get points for the type of shards you use so just having four of those 
in the bank means I've got 2,000 points right there. That'll be the majority of it, and there's enough void shards to make up the difference. Uh, there's really no way to help you with this, other than I hope you're doing the best you can on Clan Boss, getting the highest chest that you can complete each day. If that's only Brutal or Nightmare, then that's what you need to do. Get the highest, the highest chest in the tier that you're at. If you're able to do more than one, that's how I get so many. I do Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare, and Brutal every day. Um, just grind it away. And also, also go into your arena, <clears throat> the tag team arena, go to the bazaar. And uh, right here you can buy these. They have a one week cooldown, so you can't buy many, but I buy them on cooldown. Now, I, I, if you're still going for Drexlar Blood Twin, he's too good of a hero to pass up. I would stick with him if it was me. I've already gotten him, so now I just buy that shard because I really don't like three versus three arena all that much. Uh, the, everything else is pretty simple. The problem is I can't sit in front of this computer when I'm working 10 hours a day. I still got a family that wants some of my time. So it, it's, it, it feels a lot like work and uh, this is not my job. <laughs> I have a real job. So, uh, it's tough. It's tough. I feel I feel your pain, but it's doable. The next training event or tournament is going to be a nightmare for me. I, personally, it's going to be a nightmare. I'm burning through energy. I'm burning through gems. Um, I still have a pretty good bit of bottled energy saved up from all those little free daily give me packs. But uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, and just ranking up is not enough you've got to be leveling a lot of heroes so um, you don't have to make a ton of six star 60s you just need to be ranking up food and taking a bunch of people and just halfway leveling them if you need a bunch of fast points at least that's working out really well for me hopefully hopefully it works for you uh, that's the only tips I really have other than that I hope you have a lot of time for this game because it is a demanding event demanding um, I saved up for a month like I always do and it's <laughs> it's tough all right so I, I do feel bad for all the people who really don't have a chance I've got three accounts I'm not even there's almost no way for me to play all three this hard no way at all I only play three so that I can so that I have a variety I have a very low tier mid tier and a high tier account it helps me to relate, helps me to have new champions, uh, to make content. That's the only reason I do it. It's a lot of work. Uh, nothing nothing I would suggest that you go out and do. Uh, may, maybe two for fun. I don't know if you're an altaholic. But... Alright guys, good luck. Let's keep this short. This frag of fusion, man. If you're still in it, uh, hopefully the, the least I can do is give you a little bit of advice that I have. And I'm trying. So far, it's all going well. Uh... I can just see the next champion training tournament is going to be tough. It's, it's going to be tough. All right. So how are you doing? Are you still keeping up? Uh, let me know in the comments. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the grind.